Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the XMatters Digital Service Availability Platform. We're going to walk through a couple of different use cases for how XMatters can help you within your dev teams not only respond to signals that they receive from various monitoring tools, but also how we can help you through the instant journey and help your incident teams respond to these alerts, notifications, and incidents, and also manage them across the tool chain and across the tools that you're using in your infrastructure. Before we begin, we just want to talk through a couple of use cases and a couple of challenges that we see many of our clients facing. With the adoption of DevOps teams, more and more businesses are finding that there's a lot more different tools being used within the organization. Quite rightly so, these tools have been designed to serve a particular purpose that a user might be looking for. So it makes sense that different teams might have different tools that they use, even if they're similar in functionality. The challenges here, however, come about when these teams need to come together, perhaps when an issue is snowballing across multiple applications and turning into an incident or major incident. Then incident teams often find it difficult to quickly move to a resolution as they're not getting all of the information that they need. That's further compounded by hurdles such as the dev and ops teams using different ticketing systems, which unless across updated, don't provide the full picture needed. Then off the back of that, when an incident is being declared and managed, there's a number of typically manual processes and steps that incident managers or coordinators have to go through, such as looking up and engaging on-call resources, escalating when they don't respond, and also keeping stakeholders and customers updated throughout the relevant channels. So for the purposes of today's demo, we're going to walk you through how XMatters can receive a signal in some form of monitoring tool, such as Stackdriver, we're going to notify the on-call engineer and give them some additional information that will save them the toil of manually looking up the data from other tools. We'll then briefly touch on how we can remediate this issue before moving into the incident process to help the incident commander find and engage the relevant on-call resources while keeping key users and stakeholders up to date. The tools that we're using today are just some examples of the integrations that we have. Check out our integrations webpage to see all of the packages that we have available, but many of the functions of the integrations you're about to see work the same across similar tools within their space. So to start off, we're going to take a look at a signal here in the XMatters mobile app that's come through from Stackdriver. It's worth noting that I could have received this via SMS, by email, and even voice call. And the signal has found me having followed the XMatters on-call schedule for the group that owns this particular service. Now we've got the core information about that stack driver signal here. And as we've touched on, we've also got this additional data or additional information that's come through at the same time that will help me with diagnosing the issue. This saves that on-call engineer valuable time and avoids the toil of having to connect off to multiple other applications, whether it be recent code commits from something like Bitbucket, what builds were recently deployed, so looking into Jenkins, or seeing if there's other incidents similar to this issue that have occurred, or even just looking up to see if there's an active change window that might be affecting this service. So if it's 2 a.m., the on-call engineer that we've just woken up can be reading through all of this information whilst waiting for the kettle to boil to make a cup of coffee. And this enrichment data can be customized to each team's tools. So here in the XMatters flow designer interface, you can see a simple yet useful flow that is receiving the signal from the external tool, then going off to another of other applications to get those additional data points for us before then delivering us the completed notification to the on-call group. And Flow Designer gives you an easy and intuitive way to visually program your integrations and processes, regardless of what your team is using in terms of tools and applications. And so when a team member sees those enriched notifications, they can respond with an action that's then relevant to their processes. So in this case, it might be something as simple as acknowledging that alert back into Stackdriver to prevent further alarms coming through. And of course, XMatters has flood controls that are built in to deduplicate any repeated signals and therefore prevent alert fatigue for the person that's on call. It might be that we also have some form of automation tool or a runbook automation tool, something like an Ansible, hooked up to one of these responses. These could be pre-configured with a playbook that might scale our containers or simply restarts the service. 
These would typically be manual actions. So requiring that on-call person to get their laptop out, log onto a VPN, and then execute the command. All very manual, all very time consuming. And so in addition to having that built in as a response option, you could actually go further and have X matters reduce the effort even further for you. So you could configure X matters to rather than notify directly on the stack driver alert, connect off to Ansible, run that pre-configured playbook, and then if an error is received, notify the on-call person so that you essentially automate your automation. And that failure has uh, just come back through. We can see that response from Ansible here. We've got the detail that that particular restart of Apache has failed. So we've tried to remediate that issue directly from our notification, and we know that that particular action hasn't worked. So we might decide that this issue is now serious enough that we need to treat it as a major incident and get more teams involved. So coming back into my stack driver alert, we can see that we have a button down here labeled request major incident or request MI. Now, being an on-call engineer in the dev team, I may not necessarily know what the operations team's incident process is. Obviously, there's dev teams that have their own tools and processes, but they may need to occasionally tie into what the operations team has to follow, particularly if they have ITIL standards that they have implemented and adopted. So this, again, saves your teams the need to log into every single product that they might not use regularly and potentially might even save you a number of licenses as well if those products aren't being used regularly by those team members. So if we request that major incident, what's happening now is XMatters is taking that stack driver signal, and this case going off to ServiceNow to raise a P1 ticket for me. And of course, you could have an approval step built in there as well, so that you aren't giving every engineer the ability to declare a major incident without it being reviewed by an incident manager first. And once that ticket is created, XMatters is then going to fire off some additional notifications, which we'll start to see come through in just a second. And so a great example of one of those multiple communications is the first one that we received here, this new one critical notification. And this is a great example of a stakeholder style communication that could go out to our end users, our customers, or our key business users. As you'd expect, it's got the highlights of that ServiceNow ticket that's just been created. But more importantly, it also has links off to additional sources of information that might be getting updated more regularly. In this case, the Slack incident room that's getting created or the public facing status page that's also being updated by XMatters. So we can quickly have a look at status page and see that incident has been created. It's got the reference number in there and a quick holding status, just letting our customers know that we're aware of this particular issue. You'll also notice that this notification looks a little bit different from some of the others that we'll see throughout the demo in that there aren't any response options at the bottom of this. And quite rightly so. Our stakeholders are purely recipients of information. So they simply get these one way pushes of notifications come through and no ability to respond to any of them. Coming back to our inbox, the other notification that we received was our ServiceNow ticket assignment notification. So this is the alert that has gone out to our first line support team who were assigned the ticket by default when that was created. It's laid out a little differently again, because as you'd expect, there's more technical information that they need to know and understand before they make a decision. Deep links through to the ticket, through to the Slack channel, again, included as part of that content. And further down at the bottom, we've got a different set of response options because the next step for the incident team is different to the developer that we just saw a few minutes ago. So it makes sense because this ticket is assigned into a group whereby an on-call rotor has been followed, that somebody who is on-call can respond to that notification, including a comment as well. And that response will not only go back to ServiceNow, but it will also update the ticket. So if we just refresh our incident view here, we can see, first of all, there's our ticket that we've just created, currently assigned to the assignment group first line support. And by the time we've opened that incident ticket, what we'll see is the status has been changed to in progress and the assigned to has now been updated to show that I've picked up that ticket. So again, we're saving that on-call person the effort of manually updating applications. XMatters has done all of that for us. And even things like the audit trail of what XMatters was doing, so the notifications it was sending out to people, the actions of updating status page and Slack, my responses, these have all been logged 
back into the incident ticket so that when you come to do your post-mortem, you've got a full audit trail of everything that happened and everything that was done. Now, we've mentioned Slack a few times whilst going through the demo so far. So let's just quickly bring up our Slack instance here. You can see here in our alerts channel, there's been a number of updates posted in as we've gone through our demo, quietly happening in the background. So our run automation attempt with Ansible earlier on has been posted into the channel. And even things like the Ansible response have been posted here. And because that was a failure, X Matters automatically went off to JIRA to create a JIRA backlog issue for us. The declaration of a new incident automatically created a dedicated incident channel for us. So all of our teams that are engaged on the incident have a space to collaborate in. X Matters has automatically looked up the related groups for this particular service, notified them about the incident, and invited them into this Slack channel. And one of the key things that you may have noticed throughout the course of this demo is we're very rarely touching X Matters. A lot of what we're doing is being driven out of the applications that most of our customers are using day to day. And that's important to us. Ultimately, you've put in a tool like Slack because it's a collaboration tool that you want your teams in day in, day out. So it makes sense, therefore, that not only can you get information in automatically from X Matters, but when you need to, say, manually engage additional groups, you can ask the X Matters bot to look up that information without you needing to go off and manually search for it. So we can ask the bot to see who's currently on call within our networks team. And if need be, we can ask the bot to send an invitation using the X Matters platform to pull those individual members into this Slack conversation. So this allows us to not only engage with additional teams, but also keep a record of what we're doing. So uh, we're looking at the logs. Similarly as well, you can drive these sorts of engagements directly from your incident tickets and even update your stakeholders or customers as well. So if we wanted to send an incident resolution notification, we could simply fill out a form such as this with our update, hit submit, and then let X Matters notify the relevant users. The incident commander then doesn't have to remember which distribution lists to use as X Matters has a more advanced mechanism known as subscriptions, monitoring these updates and automatically routing them based on specific criteria. And here we then see that notification that's sent out with that key information, not only of the ticket, but also the update that we've sent out. So now that we've sent our update out to our clients, we can now resolve that instant back in the original ServiceNow notification. And you'll see a number of things happening. So not only does our ServiceNow ticket update, we'll see Slack gets updated. First of all, with a series of comments getting posted back into the original notification, even things like problem tickets automatically getting created. The Slack conversation has actually been archived and all of the transcript, all of the chat that was happening within that chat room can then also be brought back into our instant ticket. So again, for our root cause analysis or our post-mortem, we've got all of the information captured in one place. So several manual steps all being automated for us. So to recap, we've walked through how X Matters can receive a signal, enrich it, and notify on-call teams to allow them to respond in a way that helps remediate the issue or progress through to another process. We can then help the incident teams manage their incident, not only across people and teams, but also across multiple tools whilst automating the manual processes, which then allows them to focus on service restoration. If you're interested in learning more about any of these features, please get in touch. We'd be happy to show you more.